Over the, this coming weekend, the Outer Harbor will be noticeably bouncier. The world's largest bounce houses will be there this weekend and next. Now, originally it was supposed to open today, but because of kind of a change in scheduling, it's instead going to open up to the public tomorrow. Two on your side's Lauren Hall tells us more now. Crews have been working since about 7 this morning to inflate the world's largest bounce castle for it to be ready to open tomorrow morning at 9. We're a rain or shine event, but unfortunately in setup, things like rain coming out of nowhere and pelting down can really slow us down. And the wind was really the big factor. I mean, this is a beautiful location, but being right off of the lake, the wind comes in hard and heavy and we just, it's safety for everyone. The attraction was originally scheduled to open this afternoon. Anyone who bought tickets for those sessions has been rescheduled for next week. Yeah, we had to cancel today's date because of scheduling conflicts and uh, logistics of moving everything around. The weather didn't ver didn't help very much, but we rescheduled for next weekend. We had such a great turnout last year that we added a second weekend, so that made it a lot easier for us to be able to accommodate that switch. Tickets for Big Bounce America range from $16 to $30 for three hour sessions, which give you access to all three inflatables on the tour. The sessions are divided up by age. We've got the toddler session, we've got the eight and under session, we've got the 15 and under session. All of those sessions obviously are allowed to be accompanied by a parent or a guardian. And then we've got the adults only session that happens at the end of the day. And uh, then we do it all again next weekend. And if you came to Big Bounce America when it was here in Buffalo last year, also note the location change. This year it's right behind the new bike park. You'll see a lot of signage when you drive up and of course the inflatables themselves. We have information about all of the remaining dates and tickets on our website WGRZ.com. Reporting in the Outer Harbor, Lauren Hall, Channel 2 News.